Hey guys, Mike with Bull Shout. I just wanted to thank uh, uh, Gus and uh, everybody that participated in the uh, uh, swim bait autism awareness campaign that we uh, we uh, we participated in this year, and all the people that participated in it that submitted baits and stuff for a very worthy cause. Um, I wanted to show a little bit of what we submitted this year. Uh, Jen painted these two beautiful uh, nine inch gods. Um, very uh very unique um she did a fantastic job with these especially this one this is my favorite and uh, she did a really good job um, we're also donating these two and we're also donating a five inch and a six inch burrito with the autism prisms uh puzzle pieces embedded in them so uh i just wanted to say take a short bit thank everybody for participating thank gus for having this uh this uh this this program for everybody every year and i think it's an awesome awesome thing that we all come together and uh participate in so thank you guys appreciate it so hey everybody just to revisit um welcome to the update it's going to be fairly short i think today uh, mike wanted to make sure that he um he thanked everybody and especially Gus Torialba over at Swimbait Culture for having us participate with all you guys in the Swimbait world um, for this month's Autism Awareness Charity function that he is going to be giving these and many more super cool baits away. Um, we could not be happier to be a part of this year after year. So this is the Tie-Dye Love 2022. This is the swim bait that uh, I first came up with. And Mike says, you know, let's, let's do a second one because we really want to make sure that we put our best foot forward and make sure that everybody uh, is able to benefit from this as much as possible. So this is the second bait that we did. And it's just kind of a tear away. Um, with a bone. This is like an antique bone with red eyes and he did special red tails on this as well. So these are both nine inch glides. Just wanted to give you one final peek at these before they go out the door and I had so much fun. What an honor to participate. And then we also made these special ones. So you guys uh, have seen these and they are now packaged and ready to go out the door. Just a couple other pieces and a couple other notes that I wanted to, to take care of while we're doing this update. Some of you guys ask me uh, about the statuses on orders, and there are lots of them. And it has been a heck of a year. I have a lot of orders to get through still. Some of them, yes, do date back to January, but we are working on them furiously. The show season really knocked us for a loop this year. We were not expecting that much of a flurry of activity. And uh, I, I was painting my keister off. So I did get a little bit behind this year on orders, and I have reached out to some of you. Um, just so you know, if you're ordering baby bullshads that are hand-painted, custom hand-painted by me, this is how they come from Ketchco. And Ketchco does not send them every single month to me. I get a large shipment, usually quarterly. Um, so this is how they come. And yes, I have to pay for them too. So uh, a part of this is me paying for them and that, that's kind of figured in there. But a lot of this is also the labor and all that kind of good stuff that goes in with hand-painted customs, stuff that you can't get anywhere else. So we are furiously working on these orders. I did get a massive shipment from Ketchco just a little while ago because I was in desperate need. So now we are going to be able to get caught up. Yes, they're all blanks. Um, we're going to be able to get caught up on the website orders. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, obviously, the desk is trashed and a mess, and we're always busy. I've got lots of stuff going on here. I've got other custom orders that are going down. I'm going to do a, a session that I haven't done before, and it's going to be super cool, and that's coming hopefully towards the end of this week. Um, I did spend my birthday weekend. It's the first time I've taken a little bit of time off since show season back in the winter. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back in the swing of things. I took like three days off, and it was fabulous. I really needed it. I've been going hard since, since the beginning of the year and actually before that. So just real quick, this is going out to Joe Bridges. These are white crappie on Strike King KVDs 8.0s. And these are just fantastic baits to begin with. There we go. 
and then there are three of these and they'll be going back into the original packaging um you guys don't always ask me to but i i normally will try to uh, upgrade the hooks whenever possible to the kvd needlepoint laser sharp the ewg hooks they come with um they come with standard hooks which are pretty good um don't mind those but i always try to give you guys a beefier upgrade on that so going back to these these are hand painted cobra koi's going out and then i've got uh, a couple of things that i want to get to just real quick over top of the hype button i got some gifts some pretty cool stuff this one came with a letter and uh, we'll read this real quick Jen, I've never airbrushed before. I've never painted a lure before. I'm an avid fisherman. I've been watching your channel for some time now. Lessons inspired me to step into the hobby with both feet. What I have placed in this box is the very first lure I painted. Seems fitting that I send it to you. You have such a passion for this art form that it is contagious. That's very humbling. Thank you so much. I appreciate the hard work you put into your videos and the encouragement that you give with each installment on your channel i will be forever grateful for the gift that you have given me the confidence to paint lures for myself and all you do for the community i wish you and your channel continued success and please find time to keep sharing this content with all of us god bless you hey god bless you too lynn so this is lynn krajewski krajewski i think i hope i did not butcher that name um thank you thank you so much um this was a eulure popper with createx paints vmc hooks and devcon two-ton epoxy devcon please let me know if you use this lure i'm going to use a lure um uh, i always paint with the inspiration to go fish um let's show this to you guys this is the hand tied treble and i love these vmc to hand tied trebles they're fantastic you can get them from tackle warehouse they're a little pricey but they are super cool this is a great job, and mine, I promise you, my first lure was way cringier than this one. Um, you did a really good job. I don't even know if I have, it's somewhere in the, it's somewhere. I'm not even going to try and find it. Um, and then I got some really cool stuff here. Um, huge shout out for this Jekyll Bates lure that was painted, and then they did, even in my, um, in my font, the Jekyll Bates on the American flag. This is so flipping cool. Let me show you what else I got. So he also sent me some really cool Jekyll Bates stencils for the name itself and some really dope stickers. This is amazing. You guys just continually blow my mind with your generosity and love for the community, and I really appreciate it. So shout out to both you guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much for that. So this is from the Jones Peller family back home. It was for my birthday, so let's see what it is. I'm kind of hand-holding the camera right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll come right back on screen. So the first thing that I see is, if I can get this rubber band off with one hand, sorry, it's a little awkward with the glove, but I've been working this morning. So this looks like a Beatles, and it definitely is from the Revolver album, and any of you guys that know me pretty well know that I'm a huge Beatles head. When I was a kid, when there, back when there were things called cassette tapes, um, I would check out the local broadcast in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and if they did a Beatles special, I would like tape all four or five hours of it. So that's where I got a lot of my inspiration to start playing music. That and uh, the, the band Heart, Anne and Nancy Wilson from Heart. Hey, Jen, happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. Is a Revolver album and a year filled with good luck of the rooster. Yay. We miss you. Love, Jean, Gary, Takeo, and Elijah and Selkie, and Penelope, and that's their, that's their family of animals, and Buford, currently at the vet <laughs> for neutering. <laughs> that's awesome. I love you guys so much, and I miss you. We miss you um, being back home, and we have to absolutely visit soon. Um, Jean and I have an affinity for the Beatles, like big, big, big time. She's also a massive Jack White fan, which I am as well. Thank you for the card. And now this, this, uh, I know you never know what you're going to get. And I just celebrated my 53rd, yes, I am not ashamed to say that, folks, my 53rd trip around the sun, which is proof that um, if I can do this, you guys can do this. 
That's badass. Oh my gosh, I love this so much, you guys. Wow. So, um, my Chinese symbol is a rooster. Um, so yeah, I can be a little bit flamboyant at times and I love to teach and I love to, so thank you so much. I love this. This thing is amazing. And, uh, I I'm a big fan of roosters. I have them, uh, it's sort of like a country Americana thing going at the house. So I'll show you the house sometime too. I love to pump bubbles. So this is a massive half fish. It is the first of 20 to 30 pieces. Um, definitely 20, but probably upwards of that. Um, it's a very large fish and I have been commissioned by Catchco to paint it for stay tuned. So, um, I just had to, I was almost done. And then this package came and it's from my dear friend, Karen Brickhouse back home in Virginia. Yes. I've lived a lot of places. Um, wow. This is fabulous. Some of you might know that I use shift cam and moment on my iPhone 13 pro while I'm shooting. I do a lot of stuff with, um, macro shots and stills. So she sent me for my birthday, this amazing pro grip for the shift cam. And I am beyond stoked and a carrying case. Love you. Mean it. Wow. 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 Thank you so much. And last but not least for you guys, I like to practice um, some of the stuff that I used to do. And it, this was just a fun spray to get back into my old style of doing craws. And uh, this is very shimmery in the sun. It's got a lot of pearls in it and a lot of interference paint in the red blues and the yellow reds with a little bit of green and olive in there. So just a couple of 2.5 craws. And if you guys have made it to this point in the video, guess what? Drop me a comment below because I'm going to give these two away. Um, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop me a comment, and I'll do a randomizer, and somebody's going to get these two crawl crankbaits, 2.5s. They will have hooks, they'll be dressed, they'll be in a little box, and it'll be a thank you for subscribing and commenting on this video. So you guys take care. Love you guys very much. Mean it. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.